Today, we're going to be using ChatGPT to generate a string of random numbers that will determine the type, stats, moves, and abilities of six new Pokémon. We'll then generate a random creature for the design that I will clumsily create and put into the game. It's worth noting that I have no discernible artistic talent, they will look bad. Once we've got a team of six, we'll head into the modded game and battle the final boss, in this case, Fire Red and Leaf Greens rematch with Blue. Okay, this is the base prompt we're going to be using to randomly generate our Pokémon, starting with that first number from 1 to 289. That's going to correlate with the Pokémon type chart, from Gens 2 to 5 anyway, where each one represents a box within the grid, 1 being Normal Normal, 2 being Normal Fire, all the way down to 289 being Steel Steel, or Pure Steel. Whatever number comes out will determine our typing. It's pretty unlikely that we're going to get any solo typings, which is kind of fun, because dual typings are more interesting. Then those six numbers between 1 and 1025 are going to determine what our base stats are. So if the first number that comes out is 1, we'll get Bulbasaur's HP stat, which wouldn't be great at just 45. Those four random numbers between 1 and 354 will determine our Pokémon's moves. That's how many moves there were in Gen 3, so that's what we're working with. Hopefully we get some good stuff, if not, <laughs> this could be incredibly difficult. And finally, that last random number will generate our ability. There are only 76 in Gen 3, so that's what we've got to work with. Okay, let's see what we're going to have for Pokémon number 1. So our typing is 172. That correlates with Psychic Fire, which is a very exciting start. Both special typings in Gen 3, hopefully we get a good special attack stat. Probably won't matter if we don't get a move that goes along with it, but okay, I like the start. Okay, for HP, we are going to be working with the HP stat of Comfy, which is 51. <laughs> not great. Could be worse. Not that much worse, but it could be a little bit worse. 502's attack stat is going to be... Do what? At 75? That's not bad. We're not a physical attacker here, so... I would rather get good special attack. Oh, and I'm just seeing 899. That could be a legendary. <laughs> so we might have it. 231 is going to be the defense stat of Fampy at 60. Not amazing. Okay, this is the big one. 899. We're just before Gen 9, so we're, we might be like Glastry or Spectre or Calyrex in that territory. I don't know who we have. We have 899... <laughs> Weird ear, which is actually fine. Calyrex, Shadow Rider Calyrex at least would have been 165. Weird ear is 105. That's also really good. For special defense, we're going to be using Stunfisk's 99. Okay, that's actually really good. We will take that. Then finally, we've got 155 speed. I've just seen that. I mean, I know what 155 is. It's four into generation two, which means it's Cyndaquil. I don't know what Cyndaquil's speed is. Oh, 65. 65 is pretty good. We will take that. Not fast, not great <laughs> really across the board, but we got good special attack, which is the main thing. If we can somehow get Psychic or Psybeam <laughs> or Flamethrower or something to work with, I would be very happy. First up for moves, we have Nature Power. That's not bad, we will take that. I don't actually know what it's going to be, but it's an attack and it, most of the things are fine, so that's something. 103 is gonna be Screech. Screech isn't bad, I will take Screech. 212 is going to be <laughs> Mean Look. Okay, could use something good on, on 319 here. 319 would be a very nice addition if we could get something good. Metal Sound. Ooh, gonna be a little tough to use this one. For ability, we will be using Thick Fat. Not... <laughs> <laughs> Not the best for a fire type, <laughs> kind of useless, but sure, you never know, this thing could be good. Finally, just to figure out what this Pokemon is going to look like, I'm going to need an obscure animal, because I don't want them to just say like dog or elephant or something, or an animate object, because it's a psychic type, I feel like inanimate objects can work. We're going to have a fire psychic axolotl. Okay. I mean, there's already Axolotl Pokemon, but they're very adorable, so I will take it. Okay, we're going to go through the rest a bit quicker. I'll get all the information and then give it to you rather than going through it together. They just repeated all of the moves and ability for this from the first one, so we're going to try again. Told them not to repeat digits. Not very good at it, though. Uh, they did it again. All of the same digits. 
ChatGPT having a lot of issues with just generating a list of numbers and not repeating one. Let's try this for a third time on this second Pokemon. Can we not get 47 for the ability? That's not 47, okay, there we go. Okay, so the Pokemon we've got here is a Poison Ground, based off the 128, with 50 HP from Carbink, <laughs> 115 attack from Unpheasant, that's pretty nice, 90 defense, which I know sounds good, but it's from Rayquaza, and it's Rayquaza's worst stat, and if we could have had anything else from Rayquaza, especially if we'd switched it with the next, which is 50 special attack from Darkspun. Darkspun has good defense, really good defense, and Rayquaza has amazing special attack. That would have been much better, but what can you do? We have 40 special defense from Axew and 97 speed, as we said, from Urshifu. For the moves, we've got Taunt. <laughs> Cotton Spore, Needle Arm, and Sunny Day. <laughs> no stab there. Uh, we did get Cute Charm for the ability for our Poison Ground type, so we just need to figure out what it is now. Okay, this one's pretty easy. We got Cute Charm. Give me a random creature that gives off both cute and poisonous vibes. <laughs> it's gonna mess this one to the Eiffel Tower or something. Oh, it's... <laughs> the Slow Loris. Okay, sure. That, that works, I like that. Okay, we got a slow Loris poison ground disaster, basically. <laughs> Super basic prompt at this point, because ChatGPT is so good at figuring things out. We just put in every single number that it's used from each group to exclude those and hopefully not get more repeated digits, because it doesn't understand what I mean when I say that. Okay, that appears to have worked. We didn't get any repeats this time. We got 89 for our typing, which is ice electric, so double special. <laughs> We have 55 speed, courtesy of Buizel, 137 attack from Feromosa, don't worry, we didn't get <laughs> any physical attacks, uh, 65 defense from Grumpig, 49 special attack, <laughs> courtesy of my namesake, Finneon, 35 special defense from Squavit, and weirdly, Startler pops up for 85 speed. As far as moves go, we've got Amnesia, Feather Dance, Faint Attack, and Hydro Cannon. If this was Gen 4, Faint Attack would be physical, but <laughs> it's Gen 3, so it's not. And finally, the ability Guts, <laughs> which really hammers home how unfortunate these moves are. This hasn't worked for us yet. Okay, nice simple question again to figure out what this Pokemon is going to be based off of. What creature would you say most encapsulates Electricity, Ice, and Gutsiness? Should be pretty simple. That seems obvious to me, seems obvious to you. The Electric Blue Crayfish. Awesome! I've got a good feeling about this one. Number four is going to be the one that saves us. I might have sort of been right. <laughs> a little bit. For our typing, we get 203, which is Bug Dark, which is interesting. We have Oricorio's HP at 75, Surfetch's attack, <laughs> can't say that, 135, 60 defense from Chinchino, 25 special attack from Wooper, 60 special defense from Mainectric, 58 speed from Tinkatink, which yes, it sounds all bad, but Chlorophyll for the ability, which if you remember, we did get Sunny Day on that slow Loris from earlier, and our move set, Megahorn, on our <laughs> super high power attack bug Pokemon, that could work. Extrasensory, Magic Coat, and Lovely Kiss. I think it's the best we've got so far. If we can set up Sunny Day and get this thing in and just reel off Megahorn, you never know. Okay, last thing is just to get the description on this one. Pretty easy again. Give me a dark, <laughs> horned, sun-loving arthropod of some description. This should be knockable out of the park, I would assume. Rhinoceros Beetle. Is that just what Heracross is? I'm pretty sure it is, but we're gonna take it. I'm okay with that. I mean, it makes sense. It's a bug with Megahorn. I feel like Rhinoceros Beetle plays here. Prompt is definitely not too long at this point. I, uh, <laughs> I'm liking how it's gone. Okay, even with <laughs> all of the uh, attempts, it still repeated something. We got a new digit at the end there, but this is a water rock type, which is not great. I thought it was water dragon for a second, but no, water rock. We have 150 HP from slacking, 289. We have 124 attack from 675 Pangoro. 55 defense from Drizzile, not great. 108 special attack from Samurott. 85 special defense from Starmie, and 109 speed from Heliolisk. This Pokemon has a base stat total of over 630. And yet, Sweet Kiss, 
beat up, fake tears, and perish song, which is what we got down at the bottom once we got it to regenerate about nine times. 195 is perish song. Ability flash fire. I mean, it's just, <laughs> this Pokemon is amazing and can't really take advantage of it. Maybe the last one will save us. But first, what's this gonna be? Okay, weirdly, this is like the only thing that ChatGPT can actually do, so simple one. Give me a wet, fiery, rocky creature who really wouldn't and can't hurt a fly. Also, it can foretell death. Do you know anything like that? I assume it will. A salamander. <laughs> a salamander? Okay, I love salamanders, so I'll take it. I don't... I don't really get it, but sure. Okay, last one now. We have a bit of a mess of a team, but this, this could be the one that saves it. Maybe. Probably not. Okay, saving <laughs> very possibly the worst for last. We got 55, which is pure electric, our only singular typing. Did we get anything to use from it? No, we did not. 60 HP from Mag Cargo, 47 <laughs> attack from Rookity, 116 defense from Bronzong, that we will take. 46 special attack from Pancham, 60 special defense from Agron. Agron has good stats, that's not one of them. And luckily it's pretty fast, 20 speed from Ferrothorn. So stats wise looking good, very strong. We have Overgrow for the ability and the moves Egg Bomb, Meteor Mash, Flail, and Sand Tomb. We just need to figure out what this is. All right, ChatGPT, what's something you associate with meteors, eggs, electricity, sand being slow, overgrown, and having a sort of flaily disposition? Wait. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a Pokemon. I. <laughs> I don't even know how you got to that, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. Not a Pokemon. <laughs> Fictional creature that comes to mind could be <laughs> called a Flare Golem. <laughs> it's a majestic, overgrown creature that resides in desolate landscapes. Its body is made of hardened sand, and it moves at a slow, deliberate pace. The creature has an affinity for electricity, with sparks emanating from the cracks on its surface. Does it know I'm going to be doing these? I have no artistic talent. But okay, it's a Flare Golem. All right, let's see how this team does. Not... <laughs> <laughs> Not well, I don't think. Okay, let's look through the team quickly. We are starting with our <laughs> Psychic Fire Axolotl, Pyraxo. Thick fat, good special attack, but <laughs> no special attack to use. Um, look, the, this team is a bit of a disaster. Um, I will say the designs are bad, <laughs> but the back sprites are even worse. So appreciate what you're getting now. This took me a whole day, and they do not look good. Uh, we're gonna move on to Venoris. Venoris is probably the worst. I think it goes up again after this. This is our Poison Ground Slow Loris. Uh, cute charm. Good attack. Do you have an attack? No. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, you do have Sunny Day, though, which might play. For what it's worth, <laughs> virtually a 0% chance that we win this. Uh, third, we've got Astaceru, who is our... Ice Electric, Electric Blue Crayfish. Um, amazing attack and really good speed <laughs> and no physical attack. You know how it goes. Um, defensively incredibly frail. I mean, it's just, yeah, no, because even Guts doesn't help us because we don't have a physical attack. If we could have just got a physical attack on you, th this could be a good Pokemon. Uh, Colio... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how funny this thing looks. Colio is our Rhinoceros Beetle, Bug Dark. I was trying to just avoid Heracross, basically. Um, and this is what it ended up being. It has Chlorophyll, plus good attack, plus Mega Horn. And Lovely Kiss, which really makes this our only Pokemon of any value. Um, so that's something. We have Tarataco, Water Rock. Flash Fire, which isn't very helpful for that typing. Beat up. <laughs> That's our only attack. I kind of forgot how bad these were. Um, the stats are unbelievable. Look, Tarateco is basically a legend, just a very useless legend. Um, and finally, we have What Am I, the electric type. Overgrow. <laughs> so slow. Bad attack. Uh, good defensively. Meteor Mash, Flail, Egg Bomb, and Sand Tomb. Uh, just a horrific thing to look at. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the team. Let's go battle the champion.
Okay, this is essentially the first champion battle, but I've given Blue his whole team from the rematch, so he's going to have Heracross and Tyranitar in this. I did take away his four full restores, because I'm going to be honest, that seems a little bit unfair. Uh, four is a lot. We won't be using items, so I don't think he should get any either. He does keep his Citrus Berry on Venusaur. That's his only held item, so I've just given us one in Citrus Berry as well. Um, God, I forgot. The back sprites are bad. <laughs> The front sprites are really bad, the back sprites are worse. Uh, I didn't really have a plan here. We don't have a great lead off for Heracross. I guess we just go Sweet Kiss. It does at least connect. We don't have a good team for this battle. <laughs> I mean, the fact that none of our team is good to begin with doesn't help, but um, that's a good start. Do I... Who has Hydro Cannon? <laughs> Somebody got Hydro Cannon. Um, ignore the, uh, <laughs> ignore what they looked like there. Uh, who got Hydro Cannon? You got Hydro Cannon. And your special attack is terrible. Cool. <laughs> oh, we just don't have a chance. You have extra sensory, but you don't have any special attack. No. <laughs> I think we just stay in and try and grind this out with confusion damage. We could perish, Song. He will switch, so there's not really any point. Let's go Fake Tears. I'll try and get a few of these off while he's confused, and then maybe switch, because Beat Up just isn't going to do anything, I don't think. That's a bit frustrating. Uh, it's not going to do damage, but it is going to lower our speed, and we probably will be slower. Uh, he has Megahorn, Earthquake, Counter, and Rock Tomb. I suspect Earthquake is coming, which is terrible for us. Uh... Is anyone on our team not weak to electric or earth? Earth? Ground, even? I think just you. <laughs> we have a real uh, ground weakness, which is not good in this battle. That's nice. Uh, we don't outspeed this thing, I don't think. But we do have Lovely Kiss. But we die if it breaks out of confusion. Well, you know what? Take a risk. Okay. Gotta hit yourself here. Yes, okay, okay. Now, can we connect with this? Because again, okay, right. <laughs> that was pretty much game over if we didn't. Uh, we do have Mega Horn. We do have Extra Sensory. I did use Fake Tears. Did I use Fake Tears? Yes, I think so. So let's go Extra Sensory. Actually, does Bug resist? Hmm, probably. It's like, does anyone know what Psychic does to Bug? No, I don't. Uh, that's fine. No, don't wake up. Oh, don't do that. No, don't do that either. <laughs> Our defense is so bad. Oh, and we don't resist this. Okay. That could be a problem. That could be a big problem. Uh, let's go back to Tarateco, where we'll outspeed, and I think Beat Up will at least do something from here. Oh god, I thought it missed for a second. <laughs> oh my god. I think between the six of us. Six of us? Only five of us now. Oh my... Is it not going to do it? Okay, crit. We needed that, I think. We had one more in What Am I? But, um... That was not great. We got rid of one! That's not bad. T-Tar. You also have Earthquake. Aerial Ace, Thunderbolt, and Crunch. Thunderbolt probably isn't that much of an issue. I don't... Well, actually, Earthquake is, though. <laughs> God. This battle is difficult. Let's go Sweet Kiss. Ooh, that's going to be rough. That's going to be rough. I don't think we live that. Actually, we do. We do. We have amazing defense. Tarateco tanks this. Just. Mm, okay. Well, we're, we're in a bad position now. Let's let's get... <laughs> I guess we'll get Astacero in and hope for, like, a crit on Hydro Cannon, I think. Because Earthquake will kill us. But maybe a crit on Hydro Cannon is enough? Let's see. Ooh. I feel like I've never seen that animation before. Ooh. Crit would not have been enough. That is enough. Okay. Look, I didn't promise a good battle. <laughs> I I will know. I did not promise a good battle in this. Let's try. We're running short on Pokemon. You're pure electric. I don't even know. You do have Meteor Mash. I don't think you're fast. <laughs> in fact, I think you're incredibly slow. This back sprite is a disaster, but... You know, I, this was the last one I did, and it, 
I was I was getting tired of being bad at it. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna get past Tyranitar. That's not great. Oh! What am I? <laughs> Good work! I don't think you have any attack stat either. <laughs> Was super effective and you die to the sandstorm. Ooh. I mean we've really just got the worst team possible for this. But I, <laughs> I still like the concept. Conceptually I think this is fun. Um in execution it's been poor. I think this is swift. Which is not gonna be very good. Well we won't get to see it so we might be okay because I, <laughs> I think we're dead. Yeah. Earthquake is just, if we got flying type, we might have been okay in this battle. I mean, not okay, but we might have been better. The fact that more than half of our team is weak to ground, and almost his entire team has Earthquake, four of his six Pokemon no Earthquake. Uh, oh, we have, oh, well, I should have done this earlier. That's not going to kill, because... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the flinch! Oh, my God. Imagine Venoris sweeps. I mean, it would be embarrassing that it took me this long to switch, but if we just get two more flinches... <laughs> oh my god, the Norris is going to do it. Nobody expected this. This is the only move we have. I'm looking forward to taking out uh, Venusaur with it. Um, that, that's two Pokemon down. Uh, who's coming in? I assume Alakazam? Ooh. <laughs> So it does have psychic moves, unfortunately. Is there any way? Do we have any moves? Uh, no. We're gonna have to go for Needle Arm here. Well, we're not living that. Uh, wait, whose special defense did we get? We got Axew's. <laughs> we got Axew's special defense of 40. Uh, that is gonna do it. That was not very good. But, you know? We tried. That, that's something, I guess. Um, let me know what you think. I enjoyed this conceptually. Execution, not so well. We can tweak it, maybe. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I decided to attempt this for about another hour, but never got close to winning. Using save states, I did manage to prove it was possible with an incredible amount of luck, but even then it came down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.